Public Library. My name is Caitlin and I am your Teen Programming Librarian. Guess what? This is actually going to be our last Teen Time video for a little while. We are putting this video series on hold for a bit while we work on winding down from summer. I'm sure you're going to be very busy with the school year starting, so we're just going to put this on pause. Keep an eye out for special one-off programs and other special events that we'll put online. So we're not going to quit doing things for our teens. Uh, we're just going to pause this particular program. <laughs> as far as today's video is concerned, we are making these awesome duct tape pencil pouches. And uh, it's a great way to organize your pens and pencils for the start of the school year. After that, we're going to talk a little bit about Instagram. Yeah, we've got a lot of cool stuff for teens on our Instagram. And if you uh, don't know how to access it, I will show you how. After that, of course, we have some great book recommendations from Librarian Jennifer, our teen literature expert. Now it's time to learn how to make our pencil pouches. It's been something of a tradition the past few years, making uh, school supplies before the school year starts at the library. And well, although you can't come to the library, I can at least bring the craft to you. So I hope you enjoy making your duct tape pencil pouches. Just takes a couple of different uh, materials, but it's real simple and I'll show you how to do it now. Alright, so for the next few minutes, we are going to talk about Instagram. This is the library's social media platform that is dedicated to teen services. If you don't have an Instagram account, that's okay. I'm going to show you how you can look at the pictures that we've posted to our account. First, start at the library's website, www.livemorelibrary.net. Scroll down until you get to the social media box on the right hand side of the screen. Click on the brown camera icon. That will take you to our Instagram page. From here, you can scroll down and browse through the most recent Instagram posts. I will warn you though, without an account, you won't be able to see everything we've ever posted. And you won't be able to read the text or comments associated with the pictures. If you want to look way back, you will have to make a free account. However, the most recent pictures are available for everyone to see. We post about programs, services, and other things that are of interest to Livermore teens. For instance, we've been doing a Staff Pet Monday where we've been featuring our furry four-legged friends. This is my friend Molly. With the library closed, we've also been posting some behind-the-scenes photos to give you an idea of what working at the library is like when we don't have people to help. And we've been doing Guess What It Is Tuesday where we ask you to guess what is pictured. And of course, we also feature programs and events that may be interesting to you. With the school year starting back up, keep an eye on our Instagram. We are going to feature information on all of the e-resources that we offer that can help you with your schoolwork. I want to take a moment to direct your attention to the link tree located in the bio at the top of the page. Click on it and you'll see a list of useful things that the library has to offer, including curbside pickup, the teen space on our library's website, the library newsletters, and personal reading recommendations. 
I hope you check out our Instagram page. It's a great way to see firsthand what's going on for teens at the library. Next, we're gonna talk about the book recommendations from librarian Jennifer. This week, she's chosen two titles by Lori Holtz Anderson, Speak and Shout. Though these books deal with weightier topics than we've usually covered, they are both worth a read. Let's take a look at what she has to say. Over 20 years ago, Lori Holtz Anderson wrote Speak, a fictional story about a high school freshman who is friendless and an outcast, all because she called the police and got an end of summer party busted up. When school begins, Melinda is refusing to talk at all. And the only place she finds comfort is in art. It is through her art she is finally able to convey what happened at that party. She was raped by an upperclassman. Speak is a powerful, emotional story, focusing on a subject that is difficult, painful, and uncomfortable to discuss. Yet the book is read over and over and over. When Lori Holtz Anderson gives lectures or attends author events, she's often pulled aside and given whispered thanks. Miss Anderson has helped many teens find their voice, learn to stand up for what is right, and know how to talk about what is causing them pain. Yes, it was first published 20 years ago, but it resonates still. Then, last year, Lori Holtz Anderson decided it was time to publicly discuss the source for her incredibly successful novel. Miss Anderson shared her own story, of her own rape, of her own struggle. Speak is formidable in what it says and how it is said. Shout will offer insights into that incredible book. In Shout, readers get to learn about Lori Holtz Anderson's childhood and family, a first-hand account of what happened to her, and then about the writing of Speak and its reception. Shout is written in free verse, so if you are unfamiliar with the format, it may be initially difficult to get into. Give it some time. Just read. Forget those line breaks. Don't focus so much on the format and just the words. Or you could listen to Miss Anderson narrate Shout in the audiobook version. At the end of the video, we will post a website and a telephone number should you or someone you know need help as a survivor of a sexual assault. This week, we'll leave you with one of the poems from Shout. After you shout, your open mouth will breathe in the light for which you've hungered, and your backbone will unfurl until you can again dance to the beat of your steadfast heart. So that's it for today's Teen Time with the Livermore Public Library. I sincerely want to thank you all for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed doing the crafts and reading the books and using the resources and going to the programs that I featured in these videos. Even though these videos are being put on hold, please do keep an eye out on our Instagram. It's where we post all of our teen content and it's where you can find updates on everything teen going on at the library right now. Plus, don't forget, you can still get your summer reading prizes. We've had more teens than ever finish the reading game this year and it's not too late to collect your prizes. So please give the library a call at 925-373-5505 to get your prizes through curbside pickup. Thank you again for watching. Maybe I will see you around sometime during curbside pickup. Bye-bye. <laughs>